Hi everyone, this is Nathan here from the ebookreader.com. For this video, I'm going to show you how to take a stock Nook Touch and turn it into a rooted Nook Touch for Android apps um, in just a few minutes. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a micro SD card um, and you're going to need some sort of reader. I have this adapter for my computer because it reads SD cards. Otherwise, you're going to need some sort of like USB adapter to write the image onto the SD card. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have to go over to XDA and go to this touch neuter thread and download the touch neuter file right here once you have that downloaded, I have mine downloaded right here you go ahead and extract the file here and then to write this image onto the memory card you need to use uh, a program like WinImage um, run that as administrator, at least you have to run it on administrator with stupid Vista and then go ahead and click OK Take uh, go up here to restore hard disk image make sure to click your right uh, memory card and then it will, I have to go down here show all files and then it will select the touch neuter it will write it onto the memory card okay so while it's doing that you're gonna wanna go ahead and take your Nook hold the power button and power it off completely okay so once this file is done I'll um, load it onto the Nook okay so once the memory card is written and finished just go ahead and stick it into the powered off Nook and then start start it up so what you'll see here to make sure you know everything's going in the right direction is it will say rooted forever okay so it'll take it a few uh, seconds to load up so I'll meet you on the other side okay so once your Nook Touch loads up you'll have to hit the slider bar and then it'll show you this screen once it's um, on you tap the little Android guy and then you just skip this process for now go ahead and skip skip make sure those two are checked on the locations uh, it should be automatically so you should be good to go and then we go here to the home just go ahead and go launcher so if you hit home that will go to the regular Nook's home and then the go launcher goes to the Android version so again you can do the same thing down here you can go to your Nook's home right there and there's a little button savior right here that pulls up the Android button so you can go to your Android home from there um, I go ahead and slick default so that it automatically goes there all the time okay so once you got this up and going the first thing you're going to want to do right now is you go into your little app drawer so it's this little button in the center of the screen down here it opens up your app drawer, scroll over to YouTube, hit the YouTube app. So this is how you set up everything with your Google account. You gotta sign in through Google or through YouTube. So you accept the terms, then you come up here, um, once it loads up, you hit the menu button, and then you select my channel, and this is where you go ahead and then sign in with your Gmail account. Okay, so once you sign with your Gmail account, I'll ask you a couple of permissions here. Just hit allow a couple of times. And then it will show your um, YouTube channel. Then just go ahead and back out of here. Go back to the home screen. So go ahead and then launch Gmail. And then hit menu. And then refresh. And then it should load up your Gmail account. Your Nook Touch should be ready to go set up for Gmail. You can install Android apps. So um, once it loads up here, so there we go, we got that done. Then we go back to the, the one other thing you want to want on to do is you're going to go to settings here, and then you're going to have to, or actually you're not going to go to settings. You can go back to the home too, another way by doing that. So um, you're going to want to go into the Nook color settings, which is in here in the app drawer, which is your Nook color. Um, this is part of the Nook color thing. It's got the whole settings in here. So what you want to do is uncheck allow Android market or non-market apps, and then recheck it again doesn't seem to work if it by its default but if you uncheck and recheck then you should be good to go so at this point um, what I do is I turn it off once again I power off before doing anything else um, you can go to the Android market but you kinda need your memory card so at this point I'll remove the memory card and then I'll format it with my computer I use a program called SD formatter it's free it takes like two seconds um, and then um, I put it back in the Nook so I'll be right back in a second Okay, so I go ahead and erase my memory card, um, reformat it, and go ahead and stick your blank new fresh memory card back in here. You, um, I guess you don't have to do this, but, um, so then power your Nook back on and you're pretty much good to go. Okay, so then once you get on to, uh, you power the Nook back up, it'll ask to format that card because it kind of wants to do it its own way, I guess. So then once it's done with that, you are good to go. Everything should be working now. You can log into the Android market. You just accept the terms here. And then you can start installing apps. 
So it's easy as that. You got your memory card that's all new and ready to go, so you can install apps and ebooks and everything else on there. Another thing you can do is install, or um, go ahead and go back to your here. Use the. I, I've been having a few issues with that Android market not working right, so I've been using the Amazon App Store a lot. That one works really well. You can also download more apps online, so um, that's pretty much all you need to know to get a Root and Nook Touch. It doesn't take any time at all. Um, I'll put up some more simple directions. I'll have them on the ebookreader.com if you want to follow the written directions. Um, check out XDA for the download and more info. Um, thank you for watching.